Revenge Films. I lived with my wife, and because we just got married a few years ago, I still felt like a newlywed. I had to go on business trips often, but in return I got paid pretty well, so my wife supported me at home as a housewife. One day my business trip was supposed to be three days long, but because of my client's loss, I had to go back early. I called my wife's phone, but she didn't reply, so I went home with some souvenirs just like always. When I got home and unlocked the door, the lights were on and I heard my wife cooking in the kitchen. It seemed like she wasn't aware of me yet and continued to cook, so I got playful and planned to surprise her from the back. I am home, I said to her. Then my wife turned to me and let out a surprised gasp as she saw my face. She had a different reason why she looked so surprised, but back then I just thought she simply didn't expect me. My wife quickly regained her calm. Welcome home. Dinner is ready, so let's eat. Go get changed from your suit. She said to me like she always would. So when I was changing in the living room like usual, I felt something was off. Huh? Didn't she prepare two servings of dinner? My wife didn't know that I would be home today and I didn't even text her about it. Then why did she prepare dinner for the two of us? That's what I thought and when I asked her... I, I kind of sensed that you were coming home. She said to me... I was stupid and thought it was because we were newlyweds. I was glad that we were connected like twins. I was deceived by her so easily and ate dinner as if nothing happened. When I finished eating... You must be tired. I'll get you a new pair of clothes. So, how about you take a bath? She said. She got the bathtub ready for me while I ate, so the bath was all ready for me to dive in. Okay, I'll do that, thanks, I said and headed to the bathroom. But while I was taking a bath, I thought I wanted to charge my phone, so I headed to the bedroom. Then I found a guy sleeping there. I had no idea what was going on, and I froze as I stared at the guy. My wife had a male cousin, so I thought her cousin might have been visiting us, but... If that was the case, she would have told me beforehand. I didn't really remember what her cousin looked like, so I thought it would be a huge problem if I didn't recognize him. Excuse me, I had to come home earlier than I planned. Would you like something to eat? I said to him. Then the guy saw me there. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'll pass. As he said so, he quickly got dressed and left. Then I realized that he may be my wife's secret lover, and I questioned her. When I asked her, she easily told me the truth. If you didn't come home so suddenly, you wouldn't have found out. Well, I don't care. I've been planning to get a divorce with a lame guy like you. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> After she said that, she quickly left the house. Seeing her change so suddenly with a defiant attitude, I was too shocked. And I stared at the door she left from for a while. She never came home after that, and a few days later I received the divorce papers from her parents' address. When I called them, asking where my wife was, her mother told me, My daughter hasn't visited, though. I had no idea what to do, so my friend found me a lawyer and I decided to ask for advice. When I tried to withdraw $700 for the booking fee, I was shocked. I only had $200 left in my bank account. At the end, I told my friend what happened and borrowed $500 from him to pay for the fee. After I got home and checked my banking history, I saw that $2.5 was moved to my wife's bank account over a few transactions. It turns out the guy not only took my wife, but also my money. I felt furious towards them, but I couldn't get a hold of my wife no matter how hard I looked for her. And when I asked my parents-in-law, they just replied that they didn't know either. 
At the end, I found out where she was from the city office of the shop she used her credit card at, and I finally got hold of her next month. I found out that she was living with her lover, so I had my lawyer intervene and decided to undergo the procedure of getting a divorce. I will divorce her, but in return, I won't be giving her any property, will ask her to pay me back 2.5 million, and asked for a million for compensation from her lover. Things were going well until now, but actually I had to be hospitalized soon after. Her lover got angry after I asked him to pay me money, and he visited my house, dragged me out of the door without a word, and pushed me off the stairs outside. When I saw his eyes as he went down the stairs, I really felt like he was going to kill me. It was that scary. After I was pushed off the stairs, my shoulders and ribcage were broken, and I was too hurt to fully open my eyes. The guy saw me trying to look at him desperately. How unlucky of you to fall down the stairs! He said that and left. I was about to lose consciousness from the unbearable pain. But I went home, called the ambulance, and was hospitalized for a month until I fully recovered. While I was hospitalized, I was so bored I kept thinking about how to get revenge on him. After I got out of the hospital, I had my lawyer visit my parents-in-law's house alone. He told them about my plan. The next day, when I visited their house with my lawyer, they paid me $2.5 million, which her daughter stole from me in cash, and signed the divorce papers. I also had them call their daughter over. You're not the only one to be blamed for your affair. It's also my fault for not being able to make you happy. Yeah, right. So in return, can you marry him instead and have a happy life? After you get married to him, I'll have my lawyer pay your parents back the $2.5 I received to celebrate. And I also won't be asking compensation money from him. Huh? Really? Are you sure? But the time limit is within three months. I want to quit my job, move to a different place, and start anew. I found a new job with a great offer, but when I told them I can't quit my job right away because I had no savings, they said they'll wait for three months. So if you don't get remarried to him within the time limit, I'll receive the 2.5 million, receive compensation money from him too to make a living, unable to get my new job. But if you get married, I'll be able to move out and get a new job using the money I saved during the three months. When I explained to her, my wife smiled widely and said, That's a great idea. Shortly after she divorced me, she got remarried to her lover, but as I thought, he was a very dangerous guy with a violent temper, and it seemed like she became the next victim. She seemed really scared, and after a while, she contacted me. Help me escape the guy! He's being very violent with me, and used up my money as well as the 2.5 million. That's what she said. So in a cold voice, I replied... Why do I have to help? You're the one who made the decision. I'm keeping my promise, so it's none of my business. Please! I was wrong. He even borrowed money using my name without my permission. And I don't know what to do. I want us to start over. I realized that I still loved you. I'm sorry. No thanks. It's about your husband, so you should do something about it yourself. Like that, I hung up. To chase him up, I decided to take action. And I quickly got in touch with my lawyer, called the police about him abusing me, and asked him $1.5 million for compensation. While the guy went down the stairs, I desperately recorded his voice using my smartphone. And I found witnesses of the scene myself and told the police about it. Of course, I also handed him the medical certificates I received from the doctor. I promised I won't be asking for compensation regarding their secret affair, but I never said that I won't be asking for compensation regarding the abuse. 
After I filed the case, he got arrested. I also told the police about the other crimes he had been committing, which I found out about after my investigation. Then the police also investigated him, and as I expected, his crimes were all revealed one after another. It was revealed that some were serious crime cases, and he was sentenced to jail. My ex-wife got to break free from him because of this, but she was still traumatized by how she was being treated every day, and I think she'll struggle with the debts he left her with. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.